three videos a week, Monday, it'd be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so some of them might kind of suck. If they start to suck too much, I'll go back to just two. Sounds good though. Alright, so we just got to the garage and I want to do a little bit of science today. I've been curious about these rust dissolvers for a while, but I've never actually used one. So we just ran to AutoZone, I saw this, and I figured no time like the present. Picked it up, it was $11.99. Out the door was like less than $13, bucks, 12 71 I think. But it says it works in 10 to 30 minutes. It works on everything from iron and steel to aluminum, chrome, galvanized surfaces. It should be pretty decent. So today, all we're gonna do is try it out on this piece of scrap metal that we got. It has quite a bit of surface rust on it. I know it's nothing extreme, but I think it's a pretty good test of just how well it does work. So it says to brush off all the loose dirt and everything. I've already done that. All we're gonna do now is just spray it on, let it sit, see what it does, if it does anything. And then uh, I feel like that'll be a pretty good test on whether or not these things are bullshit or if they actually work. It says to apply it very liberally. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So it's been on there for almost three minutes now and it looks like it's doing something. We won't know for sure until we wipe it all off, but just at a quick glance, it definitely looks like it's doing something. Some sort of chemical reaction is going on, but we'll wait the full 15 minutes and then I'll wipe everything off, see how it looks after that. We're at the seven minute mark, almost halfway, and it it looks like it's pretty clean under there, honestly. You can see through it faintly, but there's still that kind of chemical reaction that's going on underneath the surface, and it does look like it's cleaning a lot of it. I kind of have high hopes for this, how it's gonna turn out. I might actually start using this stuff on the rest of the truck. All right, time's up. Let's wipe it off and see how it looks. I'm not sure if this stuff is harmful, so I'm trying not to get any on my skin. Oh, by the way, right now is about the time where you should be leaving guesses in the comments as to what you think happened. Do you think it worked? Do you think it didn't work? Uh, I think those are really the only two options. Leave your guesses below. Alright, so this is what it looks like after 15 minutes of soaking in that stuff. A, a hair over 15 minutes, it was like 15 and a half. But, there you can see what it looks like. I'm going to call that pretty clean. Here's the other half of it. This is, this is exactly what it looked like before. And, uh, literally all I did was just take a cloth, wipe some of the dirt off it, spray that shit and let it sit for 15 minutes and you can see the change is really, really apparent. I'm going to say that's a success. It did exactly what it said it would do. It dissolved the rust. It looks pretty clean. Right now you could just lay some primer and paint that and I think it would be pretty good. I mean, obviously it needs to be cleaned more. All I've done is just wipe it off, but. <laughs> it's fun to look on the sides there where you can see where it started to drip off the sides. And here's the exposed areas. I think that was a fun little test. So I'm gonna call that a success. I think it did exactly what it said it would do. And for the price, it was like 12 and a half bucks, something like that. I think it's a pretty good deal. So uh, if you guys have any other like scientific -y tests you want to see that won't cost me an arm and a leg, let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely down to try them. 
Uh, I have a few others in mind that I want to try, but I want to know what you guys want to see. So let me know. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. I told you. Don't let me.